propane power supplies. First job is to take take the lids off. We're going to cut and trim all the wires in the camera. He's only going to keep a couple of the 12 volt and a couple of ground wires coming out. And we're going to bridge the, the green. Is it power good? To ground. What we're supposed to mean? I'm not too sure. But it's, um, I think it's pin 16 from memory. This green wire here on the main ATX connector, that needs to go to ground. So the power supplies uh, will just power up and stay powered on. And we'll do that in turn one, just to get rid of all the, the wire mess. And these are all um, recycled power supplies. which ones we're going to keep. So there's, for this power supply there's actually um, two 12 volt rails, um, one with 15, or both with 15 amp. So what I'll, what I'll try and do on this one, as you know we only need one rail, this is going to be the second power supply for the bed. We'll just keep one rail on this one. I think they're, in, they're joined internally anyway. I'm just keeping a few extra blacks in the wall. Yeah, you usually keep two extras, so you'd, you'd end up with six. I'll do the same one now. So keep the green. I'm going to join that to black. The power supply will stay powered on. Trim them as short as possible so they don't short out. So here we have um, one of the finished power supplies. Well, it's not quite finished. We've still got to put some solder on here. Put a little bit of the heat shrink over here so it can't short out to anything. But what we've done is chopped. You can see we've chopped all the wires close to the board as possible. So that there's not much chance of it uh, shorting out on anything. And we've just left um, four, in this case, four, four 12 volt wires and uh, four ground wires and one extra ground wire for the uh, grounding of the power grid. Um, so that's that's ready to be soldered. Um, the reason we're leaving four wires, just to go through that, um, these the conductors in here are only really good for about 5 amps per wire. So 5 amps times tw um, 4 is about 20 amps, which is all we're going to need out of it. So ready for the next step, which is soldering. So here we are, we're just going to solder these two wires together, the power grid and the ground. Hopefully we've got enough heat in the soldering on there. And let it cool down a bit. Let's trim it off. Some heat shrink off, so it's going to be in the heat gun. I can use a lighter for the 
guys and inform them on the video. That's <laughs> true. So now we're just going to reassemble the power supply. We we'll reuse the shroud to keep everything to keep all the wires neat. Just wipe the cable tie on there. Make sure the cables are sort of a similar length, so if it puts pressure on it, it will sort of come at the same speed, the same. Uh, there's no extra pressure on any of them. Right, assemble it. Okay, next job we're going to uh, mount power supplies on the base. So just first of all, just sort of position them so I know where they're going to go. Gives you a good idea. I'm going to leave enough room so I can put the, the cords don't stick out past the edge of the board. So I'll leave about 70 mils. I've already set up my room here. Just got to wait for the pencil. Just going to mark in, mark a couple of lines, 70. So I'm just going to reference everything off these two lines now. So first of all, I'm just going to just set these up so people can see how it works. So I'm going to put the corners in, like so. Power supplies basically just set. So that's how we're going to set it up. So I usually just start in the back corner, like so. Okay, here we are. We're just going to mount the uh, power supply. So we've got a couple of screws. Just make sure they're not too long. We're going to get it through the bottom. And we're just going to put that on the corner. There's no room for any washer here, so straight in. And head should go below the top level of this um, So it should, should be completely hidden, so then the power supply won't sit on this roof. Here's the power supply to line up the second one. We're just going to uh, clean up the clean up the electronics board. This, this board will sit uh, in the front and hold the electronics. So first, step is just going to clean up the edges. So we have a cut off, cut with a circular saw, so the edges are a bit sharp. So just use your de bearing tool again. Take the, cor oh. take the corners off. Okay, so the next step, we're just going to move the um, back plate for the electronics. Uh, I've just got a piece of Perspex. It's actually an old LCD monitor Perspex plate. It's a diffusion panel. And what I do is just measuring. Oh, now, just Place these on the, on the base, around about 40 mils in. That's not really important. And we just got to make sure that's sort of lined up. We'll just we'll just measure across here. The distance for the bottom. 
Through through here, through here, or from this side, but I don't usually bother because it's uh, pretty firm in there. And that's it.